Hi everyone, and welcome to part 4 of our starter series. Today, we're going to take a look at staking XPR tokens. Staking XPR is fully integrated into the WebAuth wallet, which makes the whole process super easy. So, let's get started. We begin in our WebAuth wallet. Right now, I don't have any XPR tokens available for staking, so first, we're going to swap some of our USDC tokens into XPR. To do that, we tap on Swap, which takes us to the website appmetalx.com. After logging in, we go to the Swap menu and enter the amount of USDC we want to convert into XPR. In this example, we're swapping 200 USDC for around 64,000 XPR tokens. The swap was successful, so we head back to our wallet. Now that everything is set up, we can start staking our tokens. We tap on our XPR network tokens in the wallet. Here we can see the number of tokens we currently have available, the amount already staked, and the annual percentage rate. In our case, we'll be earning 4.1% per year on our staked tokens. There's also a section for staking rewards. This shows the rewards we've earned so far, which we can either withdraw to our available XPR balance or restake with just one tap. Since we haven't staked anything yet, both of those values are of course still at zero. Next, we can choose how many XPR tokens we want to stake. You're free to select any amount within your available balance, in our case, we'll go ahead and stake the maximum amount. Now comes the step where we choose our block producers. To be eligible to receive staking rewards, we need to select four block producers. We're going to pick our four block producers from the list, the ones we want to support with our vote. When staking XPR, it doesn't matter which BPs you vote for in terms of the rewards you receive or the security of your stake. The rewards are always the same, no matter who you vote for. Whether a block producer is ranked in the top 21 or way down at the bottom as a standby, it makes no difference for your staking rewards. But your vote does matter a lot to the block producers themselves. The community can vote for block producers to determine their ranking in the network, and BPs earn XPR tokens as rewards for their work, based on the number of votes they get. BPs use their rewards to run their infrastructure, but also to support their activity in the XPR community, as moderators in chats, app developers, game creators, or, like me, making tutorials here on YouTube. Alright, let's pick our four BPs. First, of course, we're voting for Bloxbroad. Second, Alvasek, a member of the consortium and developer of dApps like Protect Security. Third, Blockforge, active on X and various Telegram channels for the XPR network. And fourth, Danemark BP, a dApp developer providing status services and he just launched the new game Coin Royale. Now, that was just a very quick intro to these four BPs. Of course, there's a lot more to say about each of them and about every other BP out there. But this video isn't meant to be a full block producer review. So make sure to do your own research and take a look for yourself at which BPs you want to support and what kind of work they're doing. Let's wrap up this step. Done. Our XPR tokens are now staked. Now let's take a quick look at how that shows up in our wallet. As you can see, our XPR balance has moved from available to staked. That means the staking process is complete and we could actually end the video here. But before we do, I'd like to quickly show you how to unstake your XPR and how to adjust your vote for the block producers. Let's start with unstaking. We click on stake again, and now we can reduce the staked amount using the slider or just by typing in the number. In this case, we'll unstake only a portion and leave 63,000 XPR staked. We confirm the transaction, and now you can see the reduced amount is in unstaking. These tokens will automatically become available again after 24 hours and can then be used for any kind of transaction. Now, what if we want to change our block producer votes? Again, we click on stake. This time, we leave the amount staked as it is and just click continue. Here, we could now change our vote either by replacing one of our BPs or by switching all of them if we want. In our case, we'll leave the voting as it is and go back to the main overview. And while we're here, let me also quickly show you how to claim your staking rewards. Just click on Staking Rewards, and if you have any rewards available, you'll get the option to either restake them or move them to your available balance. 
Since I just staked a moment ago, no rewards have been generated yet, so I'm getting a message here saying there's nothing to claim at the moment. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope it was useful, and don't forget to follow us on X. See you next time. This was your XPR Block Producer, Bloxbroad.